The Greens want to replace Google. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your shine of coffee because we're going to read an article from news.com.au which is discussing probably one of the stupidest ideas I've heard come out of a politician's mouth in my living memory. So MP flags the bald... No, okay, let, let's edit this for the young, young journalist here. Bald, no, no, no. Stupid. Stupid. There we go. Idea to replace Google with a public search engine. Well, that's just what we need. We need a, a search engine controlled by the government. Fantastic. Centrally controlled. Here's a question for you. While I have a shot of coffee, who do you distrust most? The Australian government or Google? Who do you distrust most? Who do you think has the power to screw you over more? The Australian government or Google? And I'm going to have a shot of coffee. Because it's a bit of a toss-up. At least with Google, we know they can't send us to jail and they can't tax us. They can give us free things and advertise to us. That, that pretty much seems it. Sure, they're, 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 not, they're a bit vanilla when it comes to the restrictions on what they put on their platform. But you just have to kind of live with that and appreciate what the limitations are and work to them. But they do provide a lot of opportunities. We're talking right now. I'm using Google to get the videos out there. And let, let's have a look. Let's have a look at maybe an example. If the Greens, of course it's the Greens. If they want to have a public search engine, a government-run search engine, comrade, you know, you put your tokens into the government search engine, you, you know, your, bar, your bale of wheat, and you get to do a search every day. You know, and you get paid in potato searches. Let's have a look at this. This is Parlview. This, this is, you know, Watch Parliament, where you can see you know, our parliamentarians live, our politicians live, and I, I will often go through this to find footage for videos. Like when we were looking at the cash ban, I'll, I'll record it to watch the whole thing. And just searching on this is a complete and utter nightmare. It's, uh, it's just a mess. Finding things is terrible. Downloading stuff is a joke. It's pathetic. It really is. It's primitive. Look at it. It's primitive, old, and gross. You know? Yeah, sure. A government could get a search engine up and running. What a bloody joke. I mean, come on. This is all coming out of the fact that the Australian government is trying to make Google pay legacy media for using their links. Links. So Google drives traffic to these businesses. Google creates money for these businesses by driving traffic to them through search engines and through th social media. Not so much Google, that's more Facebook. Remember Google Plus? Anyway. And now they want to tilt it all in favor of legacy media. It really is just, you know, protecting the boys club. It's a bit of a joke. Uh, you know, I... Uh, yeah. So, who do you think? Who are you more worried about? Google or the Australian government? Who's going to affect your live, lives more often? For the better and for worse. I know, because, you know, I've gotten... The last 20 years, lots of access to free utilities and tools from Google. I've not paid a cent to them. Well, no, that's a lie I have. I paid for some advertising for businesses and other things. And I've gotten a lot of use out of their tools. So, I, I, you know, what have I gotten for the Australian government? Okay, I, I paid tax for, for most of my life. I got an education. I got university access where I have to pay for that too. When I get free knowledge free knowledge and lectures on Google. Hmm, I wonder. So, let's have a look. Google's controversial threat, oh, I mean, to pull its services from Australia has sparked calls to investigate the merits of a publicly owned search engine. Okay, you can buy shares in Alphabet if you want to have a slice of Google. Let's have a look. That's the ultimate in publicly owned. They, they're talking about state owned. What's, what's trading view? Trading view. What, what is, um, let's have a look at the share price. We've got a trading economics. What's Alphabet sitting at at the moment? Where is it? Why isn't it not up there? Come on. Alphabet share price. Okay, 1,000, of course. $1,919. Oh, 
Oh, and off market trading, it's shot up to over $2,000. Now, people are saying, oh, they'll never pull surge from Australia. They've done it before. They've done it in other countries. That's the thing. How many Australian businesses are dependent on Google, who use Google for advertising, that the government would just destroy to protect legacy media that can't keep up? If the media companies can't compete with Google, why don't they start up their own bloody search engine? We don't need the government in this. The, the, what's most worrying is that a politician is actually putting this forward as a legitimate bloody idea. Are these old boomers just so stupid they don't know how the internet works? The Australian Greens have launched a bid for the federal government to establish a search engine saying the internet was an essential service. The push follows the tech giant Google warning it would remove its system from Australian users in response to laws that would force social media giants to pay for news content. No, to pay for linking to news content. It is a complete joke. They want to tilt it all in favor of the traditional media producers. If you make a hundred thousand bucks a year, you can claim that you're a media organization, sign up for this rubbish and then get money from Google. It is ludicrous. More damage is going to be done to Australia, if Google goes away, we don't have access to that tool anymore. And I know a lot of people will say, oh, we can use VPNs for to get around it. You can use GoDuckGo and all this other stuff. Yeah, sure, that, that's, that's for people that aren't normies, okay? We're talking about normies, people that think this is a complicated computer, like an iPhone. They're not going to know that. Normal people aren't going to know that. They're going to realize, oh, wait, why is my Google not going? Why is the government doing this crap? Google has enormous market power and they're using it to threaten the Australian Parliament and Australian public. Greens leader Adam Bant said, well, honestly, I think you're a greater threat to the Australian pu public. I think the policies of the Greens can do more damage to the Australian people, to our nation, than anything Google could do to us or they're threatening to do to us. They're threatening to protect their rights. Who, who do you trust more, Google or the Greens? Maybe I should make that as a poll. I'll make that as a poll. I mean, come on, these sanctimonious bloody social justice warriors on the Greens here while, you know, making all these claims in public and then, you know, getting backpacker students to daycare for their kids for five bucks an hour or something stupid. It's time to seriously consider what a replacement would be. No, no, it isn't. No, sorry. The minor party wants the government to establish a plan. More money pissed away. More of our tax dollars pissed away. See, this is the thing. You get all these people who complain, oh, these, these big businesses need to pay their fair share. Well, you know, honestly, if the government just didn't piss money away on stupid things left, right and center, we wouldn't have to worry about it. The minor party wants the government to establish a, a plan for how Australians will access essential information online if the search was made unavailable. This would include investigating how much a publicly owned search engine, the best practice privacy provisions. They could be, do we really want a government controlled search engine, everyone? Do we want that? Do people not understand the implications of this, of its abuse, of the government being able to track every bloody search? Sure, sure, you know, Google probably sends it all over to American spy agencies or whatever, but still, I mean, come on. This is much more blatant. We'll just hire ASIO or ASIUS to run it. He told ABC RN that the market shouldn't be left to fill the void because the internet should be treated as a public good. Everyone in this country should have the right to be able to search the internet. Well, the government is the only one that is a threat to that right right now. The only one that is a threat to that, to destroying the viability of a business that's providing a free service to everyone in the world is the Australian government. And of course, the Greens, they want to slide in. Because imagine that if you had government bloody search, every damn ad would be government propaganda. Oh, sorry, you haven't been behaving well enough. You only get one search today. You have to, it'll be pay. It'll guarantee you. If the government started a bloody search engine, you'd have to pay to use the bloody thing. Mark my words, either directly or indirectly. They'll, it'll be running at a loss and we'll be paying taxes into the government search engine department. They'll have 5,000 employees sitting there, probably manually typing in bloody entries. 100%. Everyone in this country should have a right. No, we don't have rights. You don't have rights. No. To be able to search the internet, own your own data, ra data rather than hand it over to a corporation or to the government. Well, you want a government-controlled search engine, you idiot! 
Okay, and people are willingly choosing to give that data to a corporation. I don't care. I've seen the marketing data that Google has on me, that Facebook has on me. That's fine. They can have that. That's uh, I'm happy to give them that so they can target advertising toward me. I don't mind because then I get ads for things I might actually be interested in. I'm a bit disturbed when I see ads for vasectomies <laughs> all the time on my Facebook. But okay, you know, that that's the way it is. I think, I think uh, Silicon Valley is trying to send me a message and I'll just tell them to get stuffed. But still, you know, you can choose to not partake. We can't choose to not not be not submit to the government or you can but that has replica repercussions here we actually have the freedom to not use google i know that way that finding things on the internet isn't what google wants them to see but what's actually there he said a senate committee investigating the proposed laws on monday heard that google was prepared to kill one to warn 100 as the australian push would have ramifications for the global technology giant. The Australia Institute Centre for Responsible Technology Director Peter Lewis also warned that Australian governments and businesses had exposed themselves by relying heavily on apps such as Gmail and Google Maps. Because they're free and good. Let's, let's see the government try and set up its own bloody version of this. Just look at, look at an example, the rollout of town planning in every different bloody city and place in the country, and then just the different mapping information you have available there. What a dog's breakfast it is, how unorganized it is, how hard it is to find anything, inconsistencies with quality of information. Some of them you still have to download a PDF and look at a physical, physical town plan. So th this is, the, the Greens are in cahoots with, with uh, Liberals and Labour and backing up old media, old media, old media, to destroy Google. What, what? Who gives you better stuff? Who do you use more often in your day-to-day -day life? What do you reckon? So, there you go. It's another stupid bloody idea. Government's just ruining it for all of us once again. They're going to take away something that's free that people can use and replace it with some garbage by the Australian government. Fantastic. Great. What do you think, guys? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Do you think we should have a green run search engine? Fantastic. Our politicians, they'll be able to craft your search results. You know, you type in one nation, it'll come up with greens. Going, no, sorry, that that search result hasn't been approved. Negative. You know, you have to pay $5 to find that link. Oh, sh They're ruining it. Every bloody time. Anyway. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan and enjoy the content I create here, there are a few ways you can support us. You can join us on YouTube or Patreon. Support us using our affiliate links from Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, or Aussie Broadband. You can buy a merch from Heiser Says, use Gold Pass from the Perth Mint, or support us via PayPal. We also have a link to Share Wealth, where you get five free share trades, and we get five free share trades if you sign up. Take care, guys. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.